channel, Desi Fusion Kitchen. Desi Fusion Kitchen, mein aapka swagat hai. Today we're going to be making a healthier dish. Uh, it's going to be a quinoa vegetable kichdi, kind of like a rice. That instead of the rice, we are going to use quinoa. So we'll go over the ingredients with you guys first. Okay, we're going to be going over the ingredients. We're going to use two teaspoons of amogi, half a cup of mung dal, one cup of quinoa. I have the mixed with red and white in here. This is one cup of mixed vegetables, frozen mixed vegetables. This is half a cup of duer lila. It's just an Indian vegetable. You don't have to use this one. I have a half an eggplant, one potato, which I'm going to peel and chop into cubes one tomato which I also chop into cubes and for the spices I have a four or five cloves, one cinnamon stick, one bay leaf, about an inch of ginger which you can chop or mince, rye which a half a teaspoon, we're going to use one fourth teaspoon of turmeric, one fourth teaspoon of red chili powder, and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. So I'm cutting the ginger into tiny, tiny cubes. I actually like the flavor of ginger, so if I crunch on it a little bit, I kind of like it. So just really, really, really small cubes. That's done. I'm gonna do the tomato. Shrink, so it doesn't have to be super small. Diced is fine like this. Small cubes like that. There we go. And I will wash that in just a minute. Also, you can just make it into cubes. I'm just gonna rinse the potato out real quick and bowl. Let's bring over the Instapot. Okay, we're gonna begin our recipe. We're gonna turn on the Instapot on saute mode. While that's heating up, we're gonna put two teaspoons of ghee. Here's one, and here's two. As you can see, it's starting to melt. We can slowly start throwing in our spices. I'm gonna put the cinnamon. Going to put the bay leaf. Going to put the cloves. Half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. And half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, also known as rye seeds. So things will start sizzling in just a minute. I already hear some of it. We can mix it around, get it evenly cooked. As this is sizzling, we can put in our ginger. Now we can throw in, ginger is slightly brown. We can throw in our washed mumdar. Mum 
as well as our quinoa. Okay, now we can throw in all our vegetables. It's going to mix all the things together. Oops, I got some of me. It's a very colorful, colorful dish. You can throw in different veggies if you want, like bell pepper and onion. You can even put garlic. I used all the veggies that we had. Now we can add the half a teaspoon of red chili powder. You can use fresh fresh green chilies also. And half a teaspoon of turmeric. I like it just a little bit more than a half a teaspoon. And then salt per taste. I forgot the salt earlier as an ingredient, but this is gonna be also about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon because there's a lot of veggies. Mix everything together. It's still on saute mode. And now we're gonna add the water. Depending on if you want it more soupy texture, you can add more water. If you want the quinoa not to be all smushed, you can add less water. So I'm gonna start off by adding That was two cups of water. Let's see how. Two cups of water. Because the veggies will also release some water. If you want it more soupy, you can add, you can add three. I'm gonna add two. All right. Now for the last step, we're gonna pressure cooker it on high for five to seven minutes. And we're gonna close it up. Make sure the vent is closed. And now we wait. Okay, so it cooked for seven minutes on pressure cooker. And now we're gonna, we let it sit for about two, three minutes. Now we're gonna break the seal. I just wanna put a tissue over it so it doesn't spray water everywhere. You can make this in a regular cooker also, or just set it on the stove in a pot. It just takes a little bit longer. So it's time to open it up. <laughs> so me and my husband like to eat it with plain stony field yogurt. So now we will taste it. Gonna put some pepper on the yogurt. Making like a quick version, like a raita version. That's why we're putting salt and pepper on top of our yogurt. Alright. Hope it's good. How do you like it? It's good. It has a nice texture, it's not 
overly cooked. Mm. It's not mushy. Yeah. It's like perfectly cooked. Just missing some salt. All the veggies are cooked too, the potato and mm. all the frozen veggies. I think I need some salt too. Thanks guys for watching our video. Let us know if you like the recipe and let us know if we can make any modifications for our future videos.